Yo, check it. Yo, 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 what up? You are back for another video with Dave Zero. This video is cram packed of information you need to know as a trader and investor. We're looking at AMC, GME, and SPY. We're focusing on AMC in this video because AMC has earnings tomorrow. I'm gonna to talk about AMC extensively in this video. I do give price targets for AMC, GME, and SPY for tomorrow, but we have price targets for the coming rally for AMC. I did call the bottom for AMC. I did tell you guys that it would be bottoming at $3.60. AMC bottomed at $3.58, literally two cents off of the bottom. And we have more accurate technical analysis and predictions. We are not moon boys on this channel we're not going to hype you up we're going to tell you exactly what is happening and when it's happening and give you price targets and technical setups to prove it with the technical facts and data so let's not waste any more time and hop into the charts the facts and data because this video is an absolute banger all right ladies and gentlemen you are back for another video with data zero in this video we're looking at amc gme and spy i'm first going to do amc or i'm first going to do spy and gme and focus on AMC for the entire video, guys. So this video is gonna be a little bit different. We got a lot of stuff going on. It's gonna be your daily update and prediction, but we're gonna be focusing on AMC for a little bit longer. I'm gonna be going over SPY and GME first, AMC last. Let's hop right in. This video is not financial advice and should not be taken as such. Again, extremely accurate predictions right now. So you do wanna press subscribe and like and watch each and every video. They are time sensitive. We did have a three technical setups yesterday today in the video we talked about we had three technical setups those three technical setups did play out so we did have that video three technical setups that we did have in each one of these setups from amc gme and spy did play out so we can see now what is happening in the future let's hop right in so the first thing i want to point out for spy is breaking out of this falling wedge as you guys can see spy is pushing to the upside i do think spy is going to be continuing to the upside i I think that SPY is actually about to go back to about $510, believe it or not. So I think SPY is about to go back to $510. I think it's about to use this $590. Uh, 506.98, 506.98, I think it's going to use this level as support and bounce to the upside. What I think it's going to do for the rest of the after hours, consolidate above this level, and then in the morning, uh, use it as support, retest it one more time, and then see a movement to the upside. I do believe SPY is actually about to go bullish and continue to the upside, possibly putting in a higher high than that 510. I do think we will see a top, but it is not here just yet. So that is what we are looking at for SPY. I do think we will see SPY move to the upside after it's breaking out of this falling wedge. This is a falling wedge that is obviously a bullish continuation pattern. You have your push up, then you have your falling wedge, and then you're going to have another push up. Price target for this is at least 508 or 510 in my personal opinion. We already are close to 508, so 510 is very, very likely on the cards for SPY. You can see the Bollinger Band start to constrict as well letting us know volatility is coming so again i do think a decent pop is coming for spy and i do think we will see that movement to the upside coming into tomorrow we do have gdp coming out so gdp um it's already to be expected to be negative so i don't think it's going to have that much of effect and again spy is kind of detached from fundamentals right now because of the tech ai bubble that we are seeing push the market higher and higher so i do believe that again once again spy will be moving to the upside so just short and sweet for spy i think we're going to be seeing a continuation to the upside to about 510 after it uses 506.98 as support and then uh continues to the upside breaking out of this falling wedge that we identified here during stream also gme pretty short and sweet gme confirming that higher low doing exactly what we needed it to do to fulfill the higher low of the depression phase so basically we have that v-shaped recovery then we have that higher low which we were looking for gme just now confirming that higher low after making a low of $13.12 and then breaking out of this falling wedge, which we identified yesterday as well. This was technical setup number two that we had. Um, head and shoulders was for SPY. The head and shoulders did play out on SPY. Um, we did identify a falling wedge after the head and shoulders. So we had this shoulder here, this head here, and this shoulder here. We played that out and did get those puts to the downside. And now we are looking for a movement back to the upside and this setup that we have is this falling wedge 
GME had this setup of the falling wedge that we did see a breakout of today and that's exactly what we talked about yesterday and this is exactly what we seen the day a breakout of that falling wedge I do think we are going to see a continuation to the upside GME is extremely bullish right now now they do have a bunch of shares okay let's go ahead and look at how many shares they have for GME right now as of time of recording they have 80,000 shares for GME and they have a plenty of shares for AMC they have 2.2 million shares for AMC because they already know what is coming of course amc earnings is tomorrow and i'm going to talk about that here in a second a lot of people are worried about amc earnings but i think amc earnings is actually about to be immaculate and we're going to see a push to the upside believe it or not and i think a lot of people are going to be really surprised but we're going to talk about that here in a second gme getting that break out of the falling wedge and again very very simple what i think is going to be happening for gme bullish continuation there's multiple things that tell me this green macd now rsi is getting pretty overbought um so we are getting pretty high on this rsi levels but we do have room to run on the daily we do have run to, room to run in the weekly um and if we go ahead and look at things like the super trend we have buy signals here on the four hour time frame that is just printed if we go ahead and things look things like the alligator we see that they're spread very far apart showing us that there's a lot of momentum here for this rally easily a bullish continuation what i think we'll see for gme is a retest of these lower levels i think it's going to pretty much consolidate i think it will probably maybe retest here in pre-market um and here in the morning down to about 14 dollars and 20 cents and also 14 dollars and about uh 40 cents using those levels as support and then continue back to the upside um here for the rest of after hours i think it's going to consolidate and then pre-market i think it's going to consolidate maybe move down a little bit but if we do see a gap to the upside um i'm expecting a drop down and then a pop up i don't think amc is going to gap up in pre-market it's a possibility but i don't think that's what we're going to see i think what we're going to see is consolidation um and i think we might see some explosive stuff that i'm going to talk about here in a minute so let's just go ahead and hop into amc gme i think we're going to see a bullish continuation to the upside all we need to do is see GME break above $14.50. If GME can stay above $14.50, you're going to see a nice pop to the upside to about $15, where a gamma ramp lays. And if we can get to $15, things could get pretty crazy for GME stock tomorrow. Now, AMC, what everybody has been waiting for. So AMC has a decent gamma ramp at $5. We are above $5 here in after hours. We were up about... Uh, about a quarter of about five percent here in after hours we're up eight percent during the day so we're up a decent amount right now as you guys can see amc um alligator they're spread far apart it's showing we got a ton of momentum rsi is blown out right now we're literally in like a squeeze type move outside of the bands as you guys can see you already know we're outside of the bands um, inside the bands on the daily, we do have room to run. RSI on the four hour, extremely hot. RSI on the two hour, extremely hot. So we're pretty hot on these higher time frames. But I do think what we're going to see is a consolidation here, then retesting possibly $4.90, maybe $5 here in the morning, using that level as support and then in continuation to the upside. Tomorrow is going to be a battle. But once we get into earnings, earnings is going to be after hours. Once we get into earnings, I think we could see some extreme movement obviously and i think that we're actually going to get to about six dollars possibly this week okay so i think it is possible that we could see six dollars this week if we can remain above five dollars by the end of earnings so if we get through the rest of this day and tomorrow and we close earnings and after hours and we get a nice spike up i think we're going to see six bucks if we get to six dollars okay if we get to six dollars that's where things could start to get crazy now i'm not trying to get people too hyped up you know this channel i'm not a moon boy but listen ten dollars is going to be our next price target ladies and gentlemen we have a decent gap fill up here at about um, nine dollars right here and then we have one at about eleven and twelve dollars these are our very next price targets after we get past that six eight dollar range okay so we have six dollars eight dollars then we have that ten and twelve dollar uh gap fills 
AMC is setting up for a bottom, ladies and gentlemen. I told everybody the bottom was in. I called the bottom at $3.60. I said, I don't believe there's a world where AMC goes lower than $3.60, which was the previous price of the uh, stock before the reverse split. And lo and behold, AMC went down to $3.58 and bounced. Um, I told you guys that the bottom was in then, and it is forming right now. And now we are getting that inverse head and shoulders play out as well. So we have an even more bullish pattern starting to play out you can see your shoulder right here your head right here and your shoulder right here after we got that bull flag breakout that we've been watching and um, noting saying that that was going to go to five dollars which we did get the price target of five dollars after breaking out of that bull flag and that's why you subscribe to this channel because we have realistic expectations and tell you exactly where price is going to go where i think we're going to see next again AMC is starting to bottom, and I think what we're going to do is go into our disbelief rally, which is going to lead into a new bull run eventually, okay? When in doubt, zoom out. What's going to happen is AMC is going to start filling all of these gaps. I know nobody believes it's going to happen. Listen, it's going to happen. It's going to take time. It's going to take time, but we're going to start filling all of these gaps. I'll guide everybody through as we do um, move through the process of where we are at and where I think the top is, but again, I believe that we are starting the bottom process and then we're going to start moving into what's called a disbelief rally the disbelief rally is where you start moving out of the depression phase it's where your downtrend ends so basically amc has been in an overall downtrend for about three years that's when the downtrend ends and you go into your disbelief rally price starts to creep up our disbelief rally could actually take us all the way up to about 50 bucks on amc believe it or not our disbelief rally could take us up to there on gamestop it could take us up to about 40 bucks so we have decent price targets just off the disbelief rally alone and that's not even counting what we could possibly see after the disbelief rally because that eventually leads into hope optimism belief and then another thrill euphoria which um last time we had that for amc and jamie was absolutely massive again um, I'm not calling for another short squeeze F just yet, but with the short interest that AMC and GME has, it does have enough short interest for a short squeeze. And if price starts to rise up while the shorts are still trapped, it could put in a, a very, very bad position, especially if we do see the smart market start to pull back and liquidity start to draw dry up. We could definitely see some things happen again. I'm not a moon boy calling for short squeezes but that's what could happen now another thing that we have to know is normally there's a lot of volume at tops and bottoms right here is a top with a lot of volume right here is a potential bottom i think the bottom is in right here is a lot of volume this is marking a bottom also if you look at the macd very very clear if you look at the monthly macd monthly macd curling up about to go green once we get that green macd we're going to be moving into that disbelief rally and start moving into our bull phase green macd moves into your bull phase red macd moves into your bear phase we're about to move back into our bullish phase now what i think we could see for tomorrow again we want to hold over five dollars i do think we could potentially see six bucks this week by the end of this week and i think by the end of the next week if things go well for earnings which i think they will ten dollars is definitely on the cards okay we have two gap fills again these gap fills are very specific targets we have a gap fill here at about nine dollars and uh thirty cents to about nine dollars and ninety cents and then we have a gap fill at eleven dollars to about eleven dollars and sixty cents to about twelve dollars and sixty cents so those are very very clear and concise price targets that we have for amc stock especially if earnings do go well we could see that within the next week or two now Earnings, I think, is going to be absolutely immaculate. We have Beyonce's numbers. We have Taylor Swift numbers. I think people know that. I think that there's some inside information leaking out, and I think we're going to see a rally for earnings. I know a lot of people are worried, but I think we're going to see a rally for AMC earnings, and we're going to see a pop to the upside. Ladies and gentlemen, it is our time. We've waited long enough. The technicals are playing out. It is clear as day. I don't know if it's hard for other people to say. I'm not trying to insult. See, I'm not trying to insult anybody. But look, it's very, very simple when you zoom out. This was the top. This is a bottom. We're moving into a new euphoria stage. We're going to go into a disbelief rally, exactly how I explained. If you rewind the video to need context. And we're going to see an uptrend. AMC is bottoming. 
it's going to go into an uptrend, okay? I know a lot of people are going to be in the comments, oh, it's only going to go down. That's what they want you to think. That's why they have it go down for so long. That's why it's called a disbelief rally because people don't believe that it's happening. They think it's a sucker's rally. It's going to it's gonna fail like the others. That's literally what it says here on the chart. Um, this is a sucker's rally. The ra it's This rally will fail like the others, but what it does is it doesn't. Next thing you know, price is up high or elevated, and it's too late to buy. People start FOMOing in, pushing it higher. So what's kind of like what we're seeing with Bitcoin right now, going into that optimism, belief, thrill stage where you start to see normal people come in, normies come in, people that haven't been paying attention, FOMOing in, pushing it even higher. Next thing you know, you have very, very high valuations. This is what is going to happen for AMC. We have that inverse head and shoulders play out, and that actually has us for a price target off the inverse head and shoulders alone, taking us way back up to about, again, $6.50. And then, of course, we we have a nine dollar price target as well so again ten dollars is on the cards after we get to the six dollar price target so our first major price target is six dollars our next major price target is ten realistic price targets that we could see within the next couple of weeks two to three weeks especially if earnings goes good which i do think it's going to go again six dollars is the first price target and then ten dollars after we beat that six dollar price target i think six dollars is possibly going to happen this week whether you believe it or not i think we could see it especially once earnings comes out again taylor swift numbers beyonce numbers popcorn and we have box office going crazy the only thing that could happen is some absolutely crazy crime but i don't even think that's going to happen because i think it's actually time for amc to move up i think that they know that and they are positioned for this to happen so this is what i have for amc this is what i have for you guys this is what i'm looking at for the technical setups we did get that bull flag breakout easily bullish continuation there's so many signs from the alligator to the super trend from the super trend buy signal on the daily time frame the four hour time frame to the breakout of the bull flag to holding five dollars as support that's the level we want to hold as support remember that we just want to close above five dollars by the end of the day tomorrow if we do 550 um that's going to be even better but if we close above five dollars by the end of the day tomorrow and by the end of earnings you're probably going to see six bucks by the end of the week um, and we'll probably see an explosive movement in after hours or earnings. And I'm going to talk about all of this during the live stream as well. Make sure you tune into the live stream, 9, 15, 9 30 Eastern Standard Time AM. I will be live giving you guys updates and technical analysis. Guys, if you found the video informative, go ahead and drop a like. Press subscribe for more content like this. Remember, you can check me out on Twitter and Discord for even more data or updates. And as always, have fun, stay safe, make money. Peace out. All right, y'all, that was the video. If you found it informative, go ahead and drop a like and press subscribe for more content like this. Remember, you can check me out on Twitter and Discord for even more Data Zero updates. And remember, the Discord is going up in price. So if you want to get in for the low, low price of $50, literally paying for itself, hit me up on my Instagram, email, or Twitter. Link down below in the description of this video. And I appreciate you if you watch the end of this video. As always, y'all, have fun. Stay safe. Make money. Peace out.